A really interesting piece of syntax for beginners is the introduction of the yield keyword. And the best way to show this is to compare it to the pretty standard return keyword. So we have this function here, which says take in X and then go through each number between one up until X plus one, return that number squared. Now the job of return is to effectively kill the function and return this thing here. Now the for loop might seem quite redundant because it's just gonna return the first thing in the loop and then just stop altogether. And that's true when we use return. And as we can see here, it's just returning one. Now then, if we change return to say the word yield instead, we get something rather interesting. We see we get a generator returned. And what's cool about this is we can actually use the built-in next function to say, go ahead and give me an item from this generator. So this is where the yielding happens. It's going to give me the first item or yield me the first item from this loop. And there we go, we get one. Let's do a few more. And now we get one, four, nine. What's neat about this is that it effectively maintains the state. So this will know how many things have been yielded from this generator. So, you know, you could go ahead and say, let's do another print statement. And then maybe when we're ready, we can then come back to our generator and then ask for another item. So now it yields 149, it stops to do something else. And then we can say, okay, we're ready, let's go one more thing. It'll then go ahead and yield the next item. So that's the main difference. Return is effectively definite. Once we return something, we can't go back unless we call that function again. When we use the word yield, we're getting back a generator and we could then use the next function to then go and iteratively retrieve things from our generator.